flying start formation. They are called the baddest street stocks on the planet. Roby, get these fans ready here in Cochrane, Georgia. Field getting the one to go signal. If everything looks good, we'll go green next time around. Drivers taking one last look at those gauges, making sure they're reading where they should be, tugging down on those shoulder harnesses. One last time, getting comfortable in the race car. Over in turn four, you'll see the two white cones up on top of the wall. That's the VP Racing Lubricant starting box. The two front row cars must be inside that box before the pole sitter. Mark Widener can pick up the throttle to start the race. Here they come, approaching the starting box in turn number four. They're in it, they're on it, green flags out. And the Great Race of the USA Street Stock World Championship race is underway. It'll be the Magic Band, Mark Whitener grabbing the lead in turn number one. And now the caution coming out. So Adam Stewart, the race director, not satisfied with the way they came out of that starting box, Wesley Outland. It looks like we're gonna have to go back and do it again. So now the field will bunch up in turn number three. It's Mark Whitener, Hayden Moran to his right on the outside. They approach the starting box. They're in it, they're on it. Green flags out, we're racing. Whitener will grab the lead in turn number one. On the inside, it'll be Tyler Love moving up into second. Hayden Moran running third, but he'll get a challenge on the inside from Will Harrington in the seven car. Exit off turn four. Right your way. Conquering Georgia, you have a race. Who will be the world champion of street stocks in less than three months in the making? The leader right now is Widener on turn four. They've had a long time to think about it. Here they come off of turn four. Back through the pack from about seven on back. Some real tight racing. Mark Widener still out in front with Tyler Love in second. Third is Will Harrington, Hayden Moran in the fourth spot. And pulling away is Whitener. Second spot right there with Moran and Love. Stonehacker, Harrington, and we're joining on up, and that's the way they stay for the time being. Watching them as they go negotiate turn two to the back straightaway. Contact, little battle for second. Heating up, Roby off turn four. Will Harrington getting into the side of Tyler Love as they battle for second. Off of four down the front straightaway. Harrington will go to the top shelf in the seven car. Coming off at two. Still Hayden Moran running in the fourth spot. And in the 18 car, Ricky Green running in the fifth position. Underway. The street stock with Whitener, Love, Harrington, Moran, Green, the top five. And one of the things I noticed as well, where I'll be looking at this, you've got so many parts of the country represented. Whitener from Florida, Tyler Love from South Carolina, Ricky Green, South Carolina, Harrington, Georgia. Moss is right there as well. Great start to this race now, working lap six. The popularity of the street stock division has been growing and growing year after year. It's seventh year in existence. And as you say, they come from the Carolinas, they come from Tennessee, they come from Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Florida. And now we've got them racing in Louisiana as well. So this division, one of the fastest growing divisions in all of dirt track racing, and they put on a good show. The fans have learned to love this division. And they've got a good crowd here tonight to watch the World Championship race with these street stocks. You know, Wesley, it used to be they would run the late models before the street stocks. And when the late models got done, everybody would leave. Not anymore. They Not stayed to watch the street stocks. And they're so exciting. Some wild races me and you have called in years past part of Great Racing USA and these street stock events. And one of the ones I'll always remember, which was live on Speed 51 with our coverage of short track racing across the country, was the historic uh, Cherokee Clash event, the race at Gaffney, where they started three wide. People said it'll never happen. It'll never work. The best of street stocks roared in turn one three wide and no calamity. And the leader, Mark Widener, he's reached the cars on the tail end of the lead lap, so he'll start picking them off. 
and laughing cars at the tail of the field. Whitener with about a half straightaway lead now for the 92 car of Tyler Love. Right now, working 12 of 50 laps, 38 to go. We had one issue on the start, but as it stands, the race continues. Full green since. Whitener, Love, Harrington, Moss, Green, the top five. As they make their way around Cochran, Georgia, the leader is closing in on lap traffic, going to turn number three. We will see if Tyler Love can use this as an opportunity to extinguish that half straightaway lead that Mark Whitener has. Whitener is known as one of the more aggressive drivers in racing, whether it be a street stock or a late model. He will attack that lap traffic as we see him put another car a lap down. He will battle his way through there trying to put lap cars between himself and the second place car, a Tyler Love, car number 92. Will Harrington still holding down that third spot in the fourth position. It is Hayden Moran in the 41 and in fifth, the 18 car of a Ricky Green. Right, but you, you mentioned and you talk about the, 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 the drive that Mark Whitener has. He's not afraid to give anybody a call for him, move out of the way if they don't do it on their own in PG. And Whitener, uh, look at Speed Weeks, having a battle with Brandon Shepard, having a battle with uh, with Brandon Overton, the Brandon and Brandon issues that Mark Whitener dealt with. But amongst all that, he stood his ground, and I think he gained a lot of people in the dirt track racing respect. You know, and, and he also battled hard with Kyle Bronson, and they travel together and go to the races together. It doesn't matter if it's his best friend or whether he did, never met you before. He's going to race you very hard, and he is working his way through that lap traffic, and he's actually pulling away from Tyler Love. 18 laps in, 32 to go. The World Championship for Great Racing USA in the street stocks. Postponed back in December, racing tonight. And as it stands, the Magic Man Mark Whitener is leading the way, but marred by back marker cars, lap traffic all in the way. Now, Roby, they can hold their line, they can race it. They're still on the lead lap as they go to turn one. Whitener picks to the inside. And he'll slide up. Oh, they have one the off the car. pace, couple of cars off the pace. And they're Coming headed for the pit area. We're going to stay green. No harm, no foul. They slowed off the pace to exit the racetrack on the high side of turn two. We still remain under green. Two or three cars exiting off the speedway. We're 30 laps to go. Now under 30 laps to go. And four laps to halfway, Roby and Whitener, the Magic Man, putting all on the line here. All that magic coming out of the man. The man's hat, so to speak, is Cochran, Georgia tonight, and he is still showing his talent. You know, a lot of drivers would say, man, I sure could use a caution right now to get some clear racetrack in front of me, because if the caution were to come out, that lap traffic would go away, and the leader would have clear racetrack. But I think that Widener is actually using the lap traffic to his advantage, as he's still able to keep a half straightaway lead on Tyler Love in the 92 car. And he's now got some more lap traffic that he is zeroing in. So I think when Widener has clear racetrack, loves using that to his advantage. And now the starter has the cross flags in the air. Mark Widener will come by this time to get the halfway signal. 25 down, 25 to go. Wesley Outland, so far it's been all the 514 car. The blue car with the day glow red numerals of Middleburg, Florida's Mark Whitener. 25 laps in, 25 to go. Whitener, Tyler Love, Will Harrington, Hayden Moran, Ricky Green. Your top five as it stands. Back in the sixth spot, it's Michael Stallmaker in the 8S car. Back in seventh, Kevin Durden, car number 56. He was one of those drivers we told you to keep your eye on. The 44, Tim Powers, runs in the eighth spot. Ninth is Tuck Trentham, the veteran out of Pearson, Florida. We got caution. Caution will wait for the first time, Roby. We got problems on the speedway.
that one. They're going to make their way to the BP Race Fuels Making Power Point. Actually, you call it the BP Racing Fuels Lubricant Starting Box, right? Well, it's the BP it's Racing that. Lubricant <laughs> there you go. Starting Box. Bring up the green, Robbie. Okay, here they come. It'll be Mark Whitener picking up the pace. He's in the throttle. Green flags out. We're racing. Side by side behind him for a second. Will Harrington try to get it wound up on the outside. Can he get a run off of turn two? He'll cross over off of two. He'll pull back on the inside of Tyler Love. Will Harrington trying to make a run up into second. Car gets loose on him on the bottom. He's got a lift. He'll cut that key behind Love. It's Whitener out in front. Tyler Love in second. Whitener, it's Harrington trying to get it wound up on the outside off of two. He pulls back up on Tyler Love's back bumper. He'll go to the top shelf in turn number four. Will Harrington trying to make something happen here at his home track. Dr. Motor Speedway. He is in getting a little stronger. Lap after lap off the two. He'll dive to the inside of Tyler Love. Throws the slider and takes second in turn four. Will the... Harrington up to oh, second. Driving problems turn Oh four. boy, we got a stack. What do you say? But it only turned out to be a single incident. One car in turn four, though. That was scattered with a little ketchup on top. There you go. There you go. Well, we don't use that line that much And guys like Dick Anderson, you ever heard of him? Yes, sir. King of the Florida Short Tracks. Wayne Rudiman, he was in all that. Field line back up and ready to go for the restart. Jenny Schoenfeld, Jody Ridley. Some of those names. Jody was running all pro then. Yeah. Well, I remember there was the battle like between all pro and USA later. Right. On. Here they come. Here off of turn four. Green flag out. Let's see if Harry Dill will go to the top shelf. He's up there. He's alongside Love. Off of two. Down the back straightaway. There he goes. Wesley's up to second. Here he comes. And almost three and four wide behind them. And they fight for position three and four wide again. Off of turn four. Battling along. There's that little Levin poking in the fight. Ronnie Newsom. And he gets loose. Newsom sideways out of two, but he holds it together right because he goes from the in-house to the out-house, all the way almost to the rear. Well, that's where he started tonight and worked his way up into the top ten. So Ricky Lee Newsom is going to be another guy to watch from the back of the pack. That's the great thing about these street stops. Here comes Harrington. White are in trouble. Whitener up on the high side. Harrington will throw the slider. They get together. Oh, wow. That's the driver of Oh, Whitener yeah. You about. know Whitener's not going to live. He'll be stay green. Harrington off the pace. Down the front straight away. Caution flag is out. Brody, he did a 360 in the middle of the field. Will Harrington. All in Mark Keeler and Tom Ryan. All of the corporates of RTA Speed Co. Everybody that's in the upper management of Speed 51, to all of our crew on team site here, like myself, along with Kyler Hope and Will Bellamy and Robbie Johnston. All right, Robbie, they're at the VP Racing Luber Kicks starting box. Here we go, Bye. Will Harrington brings them down to the green flag. I wish we had enough cameras so we could ISO one on Mark Whitener, because he's going to be Hustling up through the field. We got trouble. One's off the pace, two's off the pace, but we still keep going in the three. Well, if that car on the high side can make it to the pit area, we'll be good, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Caution flag coming out. Arna, he's been really good. Tyler Love has been lying in the weeds, being patient, too, in the number two spot. And we got to wonder, with the contact from Whitener to Harrington, will he have damage on his car? Back to green. We'll soon find out. Green flag is out. Field races in to turn number one. Off the two. They're chopping, slicing, dicing, and peeling for position. They're vegematic racing. Vegeta who? Vegeta what? Vegematic. The Ruby is a back in full force. I told you I had one for you. Ready. In the corner. The only time I heard of Veggie is in that song, Benjamite Sandwich, Australian, as they exit four. Look at this battle for second. Love is leading that spot in second, but there is such a hornet's nest behind him. 
and Brody Winder has now went from the bottom to now the top shelf of the 514. He's going to go where everybody else isn't. He's got a car that'll work. He's got a car that's fast. And he's got a long way to go and a short time to get there, as Jerry Reed wants to go where no man's gone before. Oh, yeah, a little Star Trek gets in there. To boldly go where no man's gone before as he closes in on the five machine in that battle off the back straight away. May you have long life and prosper. That's David Gentry, along with Waters and Dustin Miller, all in that mix of Whiter coming through the pack. And while that happens, Roby, well, I think, well to go. I think Will Harrington has answered your question about damage from the spin with Widener. He's already pulled out to a half straightaway lead over Tyler Love in the 92 car. And he's got a caution. And caution flag coming. Pure stock cars, street stocks, and the dirt or pavement world all on eSports. And we've got some free broadcasts, all part of Speed 51. Become a subscriber to see it. 12 laps to go. Will Harrington out in front. And as a note, Mark Whitener back up to ninth. Here he comes. 12 laps to go. Green flag is out. And looking to the inside, Tyler Love on Harrington. But Harrington will pull him two car lengths off of two down the back straightaway. Hayden Moran setting up on the top shelf in the 41M car as he'll battle with Tyler Love for second down the front straightaway. Give it to Moran. Well, the first finish line comes on the front the straightaway. Wheel, Someone lost the wheel and all of a sudden chaos ensued on the front stretch and ended in one. the third place car Hayden Moran. Moran had passed Love for second but then the caution flag came out. That negated the pass. So let's see what Moran's got for Tyler Look at Love. Widener right trying to come up through the field on the outside. It's battle for second. Caution flag is out. I wonder if somebody might have jumped. But no, we got problems in turn one. I'm stuck behind the pole here, Roby. We got a car spun though. Is that the nine car? one and two and go into the paddock area they're done for the night but they can come down pit road they can have work done on their car and then they can go back out if they're able to continue so that's the way that works two spin rule for the 119 car brought out two cautions so he's done for the night green flag back out will harrington scoots out in front of the field in turn one here comes tyler moran setting up on the outside Trying to pass Tyler Love for second. The Palmetto State driver trying to hang tough on the bottom, but it'll be the man from Cajun Country from Covington, Louisiana. Tyler Moran taking over that second spot. He'll drop Tyler Love back to third. Kevin Durden running fourth. In fifth, it's Ricky Green. Off of four to the line. Under 10 laps to go. Ready to bring this one on home for supper and the finish. And Harrington, the pride out of Cochran, Georgia, now resides in Hawkinsville, leads the way, Roby. And he had to fight for it in the early going. And the question is, can Whitener run him back down? He's cracked the top seven. Will Harrington looking for that $5,000 paycheck. That'll buy a lot of dog biscuits for Hank. Coming off of four, down the front straight away. About six car lengths on Tyler Moran in car number 41 as he begins to put some distance between himself and Tyler Love in the 92 car in the third spot. Kevin Dirt is still hanging tough in that fourth position. Lapsed it's Ricky Green in fifth. Laps winding down, Robbie. I'm sorry. I didn't need to lose you there. It's coming to the six remaining, the final five laps of this event. And Harrington is the man to beat. No, we got one off the pace. A big turn number two. Will, Will he stall or he gets over the way? Five to go. Five to go. Five to go. Flagman showing five fingers. Well, four fingers and a thumb to the field. Five to go. Will Harrington maintaining that six car length advantage over in the 41 M car of Hayden Moran. Tyler Love in third. 
fourth is Kevin Durden in the 56 car. The 15 car, we haven't talked about him tonight, Dustin Miller now up into the top five as he gets by Ricky Green. And back in seventh, it's Mark Whitener in the 514 car. Under three laps to go now. Harrington, Moran, Love, one, two, and three. Both from different parts of the country as well, might I add. As they come to the line, two laps remaining. Roby, who will win the 2019 Craig Racing USA Street Stock World Championship? It looks like hometown crowd has got one to go with Will Harrington. White flag in the air for Will Harrington. Grew up here in Cochran, Georgia, now lives in Hawkinsville, Georgia, just to the southeast of here. He'll bring it off the top shelf, but turn two, shoot down the back straightaway, sets it up for turn three. Here he comes, Cochran, Georgia, off of four, checkered flag for Will Harrington. Peyton Moran will finish second, Tyler Love third, Kevin Durden fourth, and fifth will go to the Number 15 car of Justin Miller.